In mechanical engineering, this part is never preferred. Why it is not ever preferred? When you observe the stress lines, the so stress lines will be like this. That is for this member. And the stress lines for these members are like this. But if you join them, then what will happen? If the stress lines will going to concentrate on this point. So there is a concentration here. So this part will fail at this point. To avoid this one, the stress concentration, what we do normally? We generate the same shape that is generated by this type of curve. So instead of this, we provide fillet. And this one is called as fillet radius R. So depending upon the D1 and D2, we have different type of fillet. Fillet you can visualize in this figure. Is it fillet? There are two parts. So there is a fillet here. So there is a concentration here. So normally the crack will initiate at this point. So there are huge data available for this one. So you have to use the table. And they will give the value of KT here. Then is it a weak section or is it a weak section? This one is weak section. For same force, is it naturally the stress produced is more here. So whatever the stress produced here, is it sigma is equal to force divided by is this area A1 and not this area A2. And if you want to find out sigma max, then you multiply by KT which is available in tables and multiply by sigma. If they ask you the problem based on this one, they will ask you, they will provide the value of KT. A maximum stress sigma max induced at the edge of an elliptical hole. This elliptical hole is given to you. Of major axis equal to 4. Major axis. Major axis is whole value. That is 4. And minor axis is 1.5. That is this one is minor 1.5. And you have to find out the sigma t is the theoretical value. That is this value. You have to multiply this value by KT. So what is KT first? So we have KT equals to, our formula is 1 plus 2 times B divided by A. What is B? A is perpendicular to direction of stress. This one is parallel to stress. So we have KT equals to 1 plus 2 times. What is this whole value? Is it 4? Is it directly given? No. Major axis. Semi major is given or major is given? So is this value is multiplied by 4? divided by this value. Minor axis is 1.5. 19 by and this value is same as sigma max divided by sigma t. So what is the value of sigma max? This is 19 by 3 sigma of t. This part is designed at this section or is at this section. So we have to weaker section. So weaker section is this section. So this stress corresponds to this area. If the stress by direction is given in the y direction. So parallel to y is it a twice b and perpendicular to this is. So I will modify my formula is like this kt equals to 1 plus 2 times perpendicular divided by parallel. No a no b. So this is kt equal to 1 plus 2 times perpendicular is twice a divided by parallel is twice b. 2 2 cancel and it becomes 1 plus a by b. A rectangular plate of 15 mm thickness. Thickness was given to you 15 mm. Made up of brittle material as shown in the figure. The ratio of stress at 3 mm diameter hole at 5 mm. You have to calculate this ratio versus this ratio. So naturally I will call this one as sigma 1 max. Now I have to calculate this area first. That is this area. Is This area is 25 minus 5. So I will call this one as section plane 1. So I will calculate first normal stress that is sigma 1. Not principal stress huh? at section A. Sigma 1 is it equal to 20,000 divided by this material length is 25 minus 5 multiplied by thickness 15. So this is sigma 1. So what is the sigma max at section 1? Is it a KT? KT multiplied by sigma 1. Is the KT is always fixed for circular hole? So is it 3 times 66.6 is very close to 200. Now same procedure to repeat for this section. So what is sigma 2 first? Is this force that is 20,000 divided by. Now what is this 25 minus 3? So this is 60.6. .6. Can we calculate sigma 2 max? So sigma 2 max is only 3 times of this. Kt is fixed 180.8. What do you want to calculate? Ratio of stress at 3 mm that is sigma 2 by 5 mm that is sigma 1. So we can calculate that. So sigma 2 max divided by sigma is it equals to? 181 divided by 200, approximately 0.9. Actually, there is no need of finding the C1 and sigma 2 max because for factor is same. Your problem can be finished here also.
a large uniform plate containing a rivet hole subjected to uniform uniaxial tension test of 95. Always remember whenever you give this stress is always on which section. So this value of sigma is given to us 95. For circular hole is kt is always equal to fixed 3 value. Is it equals to sigma max divided by sigma. So 3 multiplied by 95 is it 25. Let introduce here one more factor that is called as fatigue stress concentration factor. Fatigue stress the previously was theoretical. So we have two plates, identical plates. But in one plate we have a notch. So if this value is SE, if the stress lines for this one is parallel and if the stress lines for become consonant here. So this value equal to SE dash. So fatigue stress concentration factor KF is defined as the maximum stress in a notch specimen. This is notch specimen to maximum stress in a notch free specimen, notch free specimen. So this value equals to SE dash divided by. So it entirely depends what is your notch and therefore we have to introduce one more term that is called as notch sensitivity which was defined as Q is equals to KF minus 1 upon KT minus 1 that is the actual intensification of a stress is divided by the theoretical intensification of stress over normal stress. So your geometry is disturbed, your geometry was disturbed, your stress lines will be disturbed. So Q will take effect of both that is the fatigue stress concentration as well as theoretical and you will get a new equation equal to Q is equal to KF minus 1 KF your endurance strength will change and you have to consider that this value is really more than this value because if you try to solve this what you get what is the value of KF is KF equals to KF minus 1 is it equal to Q multiplied by KT minus 1 and this one will shift to this side so is this value is always guaranteed more than 1 so is the value in the notch element is always more than permitted value that is equal to what KT minus 1 so by test if your value come out to be 200 so and we are using a part which has a notch cannot use 200 for infinite life you have to modify that and that value will be for actual testing will be equal to 300 now check yesterday's graph yesterday we are used SUT 0.9 SUT this one is 10 to the power 3 this is 10 to the power 6 and we are join this then this value is SE now if this value will increase naturally your life will also decrease so notch free will always have less life as compared to notch free and how much is notch it really matters for us the notch is too deep there is a similar effect so what is given to you a steel component has a theoretical stress concentration factor is it kt is equal to 2.1 and the notch sensitivity is q is it 0.5 you have to find out the percentage change in endurance strength it is same as you want to calculate the value of kf is it a percentage change so you have to just calculate kf is kf is given by 1 plus q into kt minus 1 same formula so what is kf a is 1 plus the value of q is 0.5 multiplied by kt kt is 2.1 minus 1 1.1.55 is it 1.55 increase by 55 percent 